Hello, this is uh, Rabbi Betzalel here again, having a little wine after dinner. <coughs> it's good wine, good Israeli kosher wine from uh, Gamla. If you drink, drink Gamla. The best darn wine, the best darn kosher Israeli wine on the market. I drink it and it is good. I already said the uh, bracha before and uh, now we're gonna we're gonna say the bracha after. So I have to drink at least 86 cc's of this wine, which is about that is much there. Um, if you really want to know how much uh, 86 cc's are, you know, go to your kitchen and find your measuring cups. Um, anyhow, over the standard plastic drinking cup is usually 200 cc's. <coughs> so, uh, a little more of this wine. Uh. Ah! can't drink wine without saying a word of Torah. I mean, I'm not saying this as a halakha or anything, but it is a fulfillment of the Mishnah. The Mishnah is the, uh, the basic text of Jewish law, uh, aside from the halakha. It's the Mishnah. The Mishnah and the Talmud, that is, which go hand in hand. The Mishnah is a legal text, and in the Pirkei Avos of the Mishnah, it says, um, open it up here. <coughs> well, it'll take me too long to find, so I'll just say from memory. Anybody who eats without saying a word, of, if two people get together and they eat without saying a word of Torah, It's as if they've eaten from the, the sacrifices of the dead. Of the living dead. Um, yeah. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Shloshe Shachlu al Shulchan Echad, Velo Amru Alav Divrei Torah, Kilu Achlu Mizivche Metim. Shneemar, Ki kol shulchanot malu ki tsoa bli makom. Rabbi Shimon, the author of the Zohar, who actually was a famous Talmudic sage, people forget that these days. Um, I'd like to remind Madonna and Philip S. Berg and his ilk that, uh, you know, that, that, that Rabbi Shimon actually was a Talmudic master. I'm sure they... Uh, Rabbi Berg, or Dr. or uh, Mr. Berg, knows that. Um, the Kabbalist Berg, that is, knows that. But um, I don't know if his students understand so well that Rabbi Shimon was a man of halakha. And um, as together with being the greatest Kabbalist to ever walk the planet. Um, so anyhow, he said, Rabbi Shimon, author of the, you know, Rabbi Shimon, Zohar ben Yochai said um, three that ate, you know, the one that was in the cave, 13 years, the whole story, that'll be another YouTube. He said that three people who ate together at one table and they did not have one word of Torah between them, it's as if they ate from the sacrifices of the dead. As it is written, all of their tables are filled with vomit and crap. That's a polite word for crap. Feces. Yes, vomit and feces. With no place for anything else. In other words, you don't say a word of Torah, you might as well be covering your table with, with, with refuse from the body and not have any place for anything clean and anything worthwhile, anything that can be used. What's refuse? It's useless like useless chatter. 
speaking useless words and not speaking even hinting at let's say words of Torah or being saying words influenced by words of Torah you might even say it's, uh, you might as well be excreting on your table but three who ate together at one table and they say words of Torah of them it is said it's as if they have eaten from the table of God as it is written by the Berelai Zeshulchan Ashalif Nashem. And he said to me, This is the table that is before Hashem. So, uh, why three and not two? Well, if three get together and don't say a word of Torah, serious. If two get together and don't say a word of Torah, it's also uh, serious. So a quick story, Rabbi um, Yitzhak Isaac from the, the village of Safrin, one of the great uh, simple Jew whose children all became Hasidic Rebbe's. He lived about 270 years ago, 260 years ago, and he said that there, his son, Yitzhak Isaac of Zidichov, one of the greatest um, masters of Hasidut and Torah and Zohar and um, Torah and he once said Yitzhak Isaac of Zirichov said about his father Yitzhak Isaac um, Svi Hirsch of Zirichov said about his father Yitzhak Isaac that he, his father was great in three ways in one, once he, he would never eat without having a guest and if he didn't have a guest he would fast unless of course it was Shabbat or a, a holiday and would, um, whenever he ate he always said a word of Torah and the third one was he never spoke about other people whether for good praising them or whether to their degradation or to their or saying bad things about other people in any way what we call Lashon Hara and the Zidich over his son Svi Hirsch said of his father I reached my father's level concerning not saying bad things about other people but I never reached my father's level about not praising other people. Now that's a level, a high level, that I have not yet reached. Um, Halavai, we should reach the lower level of not saying bad things about other people. After bracha, unwind. Baruch Atadinoi Eloheinu Melech Olam Alegefen Vaprigefen Otim Rota Sade Varus Chemda Tovarofa Sheretzita Bin Chaltalav Tenu Lechol Mikriya Lispor Mitu Varachemna Adonoi Eloheinu Al Yisrael Mecha Vilushalayim Mecha Vatzion Nishkan Kvadecha Vomizrechecha Vechalecha Uvene Yerushalayim Mir Kodesh Bimeher Vimenu Valeinu Lesocha Vesamchenu Uva Vemevarechcha Bikdusho Betahora when you say when you say blessing after wine from that came from the land of Israel, you say And if it's from outside of Israel, if the wine is from outside of Israel, Al Pri Hagefen Baruch Hashem Al Aretz Al Pri Hagefen.